Well, I got my new 48 millimeter T304 stainless intake runners. Actually, before I sh show you too much more over there, so this is what uh, the piece looks like from the UK. Just arrived by DHL today. So clean internal walls and uh, nicely mandrel bent, one and a half millimeter wall thickness, 48 millimeter exterior, 45 interior. So um, turns out that uh, if I cut it really, really close to the, um, to the band, um, then I get this nice look um, where it's perfect height uh, relative to the, uh, the other one. So I'm now just determining the exact distance I want. I'm reading up on the internet racers and what they've experienced and um, with 40 millimeter um, but these are 45 so with 40 millimeter intakes uh, some dyno testing it was basically an inch and a half from the front of the uh, of the uh, trumpet there was no power loss if you were out with the box the air box at least an inch and a half away and so I'm going to be building an air box in here and then running a four inch plenum to a, an air filter down down here, so I, I, I will be going from the back here, because these unscrew, right, these spin off, um, to just just before hitting the radiator, and the, this radiator core, is, this is the mock-up for, it goes three quarters of an inch out, and then the fans attach, um, so I gotta be careful about all that. Um, and just, I want the runners as long as possible. Right now, I'm dealing with 350 millimeters from this point here to the valve stem, intake valve stem, which is perfect for sort of eight, 9,000 RPM power peak. Um, I'd like to go a little longer if I could, but ha ha ha, I don't have room for it. So I'll have to accept it. I mean, a lot of guys do these independent throttle bodies or carbs and they're like really short, right? And it's completely mistuning, unfortunately, but that's what they have to do to fit it in the uh, under the hood and in, in front of the radiator. So I've moved my radiator out of the way to get me longer intake runners, and now I have solved the problem of the hitting of on the hood. So I'm super happy. Okay, I got it all figured out. So I need to be an inch, uh, three quarters of an inch, plus. Um, another inch and a half for the the fan, and um, and then an inch and a half for the uh, the horn to the uh, air, uh, front ends of the air box. So it's not super critical because the fan is down below. Um, so I'm going to end up compromising a bit because I don't want the runners too short. So it's going to have a little bit of a bulge in the air box just to get around the fan, and. Um, but otherwise this works now. So I've got it all, I gotta make three more just like that. And I'm good to go. It's in the right height, right position now. So we're making progress.